a city pulled further apart. Yeah, I, I think there's no question about the fact that we are we are not a unified city right now. On the job only about 15 months, Chief Angela Green is now on paid administrative leave for the next 30 days. She's been at the center of a citywide feud after she charged 19 people, including Senator Louise Lucas and NAACP leaders with felonies. They were charged for their participation in a Confederate monument protest where a man was severely injured. You'll recall last month when community members demanded action. We are calling on the city manager Dr. Lydia Patton, uh -huh. to request the immediate resignation yeah. of Chief Angela yeah. Green. Fast forward to today, Blunt is still standing by those words. We don't want to see anyone lose their job. However, we feel that because of the leadership vacuum, some things have happened in this city that should not have happened. Others disagree. Protesters gathered Friday afternoon wearing green to support green. Chief Green was bringing unity to Portsmouth. Um, the citizens love her, her staff loves her, and this is all politically driven. This rally, one of the few that has taken place recently, Stanton saying green is the best option for the city. What this city needs is we need good leadership, unbiased leadership, people who aren't politicians. We need new leadership from the top down. This is what we are. This is the hand that we've been dealt. Where do we go from this point on? In the meantime, Assistant Chief Scott Burke will serve as acting chief of police for the city. News 3 attempted to reach out to those charged as well as Chief Green, but we haven't heard back. In Portsmouth, Aaron Miller, News 3.